Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In central Iowa, the city of Ames is alive with cheering fans. TCU is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Strike to his receiver, no good. And they got some pressure on him that time. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. Roger, Roger. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Single tip to his intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. He wants it all. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Denman is the deep man awaiting the return. He's to the 40. Oh, what a hit. The Horn Frogs have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. That tackle could have saved a very big play. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. From the 25-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Nice run to the outside. Five yards there for the quarterback. With the pass incomplete. From the 20 yard line, third down. Fakes the handoff, and he's in trouble. Going to the end zone. Throws complete. Touchdown. Every time he throws the ball in this guy's direction, something big seems to happen. I don't think you can find a quarterback in the country who wouldn't want a guy like this on his side. He makes the PAT, a four-play, 54-yard drive, and the result, seven points. So our score, 7-0. McGee ready to kick. He just drills this one. 
He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. TCU's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kurt. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Takes it right and brought down right away. No game on the play. Man left, man left. Third down. Man left, man left. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. He heaves it deep. And down he goes. The 26-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 20-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's tackled right around the 12-yard line. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Fires it out. He's taken down around the four-yard line. That makes it second and two. made at the two. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. And he's tackled at the two-yard line. That brings him six in the goal. Let's go deep. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. State to kick. He makes it to the 28 yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's taken down at the 30. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 30. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws it deep. Caught open field. The 10. Touchdown, TCU. Nice 
nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Boy, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Singleton takes it at the four. Tackle at the 29-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. And they make the stop at the 36. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. Pass to the tight end, but he bottles the ball away. From the 49-yard line, second down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. play gets him roughly three yards usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch Higgins is set back ready to punt he'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner sometimes it's not the huge distance but precision that you need from your punter nicely done the quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. TCU is up a score. And they get nice yardage on that run. Bradley picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. We played one quarter. TCU in front, 14-7. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Tackled after a decent pickup. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. First and 10. Ball on the 28. Let's go! Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 44. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Runs it, 
and tackle in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. TCU is up seven. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. That makes it first and ten. Fires out to his wide out. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Let's go. Rock 36. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down in the open field. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes at the 35. That brings up second and nine. Good tackle there in space. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 17-yard line, first down. And he's level at the 17-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. The Cyclones use their second timeout. Makes it to the eight. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. I got one. I got one. 
Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Tackle around the one yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and goal. I'm coming after you. Mike 36. Mike 36. Go. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at scores around the country. The Wildcats unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. A touchdown apiece, 7-7. All tied up at 14 in our game, Reese. Ward looks ready to kick this one off. Gates takes it at the eight. Brought down at the 31 yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's on the run. Lost the ball, fumble. Scoops up the loose ball. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Fires right side, got his tailback. And he is drilled at the 48. The Horned Frogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open, he just misfired. Second and 10, ball on the 48. Rifles this one out to the left, and he hits him hard at the 29. Quick strike and he drops it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. Caught out of the open. Tackle made at about the 19 yard line. Looks middle, got his back, and he's tackled at the 12. The Horn Frogs using their third and last timeout. This is the eighth play of this drive. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. We played a half of football here. TCU's got a three-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Kick slide, kick slide, get your hands on them, keep them at an angle, keep them off balance. How about the big fellas up front just absolutely stifling the pass rush? We, we talk all the time about how defensive, ch defense wins championships and the guys in the trenches. How about the hog mollies up front? I mean, my goodness, that quarterback, he could bake a pie feed it to him in the pocket. He had so much time to sit back there 
nice, warm, and cozy. Might as well get him a bottle of milk and some and a blankie back there in the pocket because he was just sitting back there nice and protected. Anybody can deal in that situation. I've seen Reese Davis deal in that situation. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. From the eight yard line. And down he goes at the 25. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. Here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. TCU has a three-point lead. On the catch. Oh, they strip it out. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. it to the halfback on the screen and he's taken down at about the 25 yard line that's a great tackle at the 31 Waiting the return. And he's taken down at the 40. TCU's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. On a counter, Russell down behind the line. From their own 37-yard line, second down. And a quick throw. Good open field tackle. to the 20 and they make the stop at the eight yard line that's a big break for this defense you know this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug they need to hold on to the football they couldn't get anything going on that last drive TCU holds a field goal lead. And they push him out around the eight-yard line. They're at the eight. It's second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Takes the toss left. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. 
It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Wildcats roll into today's game ranked number 19 in the land. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Kansas State, who needs to throw it when you run it this effectively? A touchdown coming on the ground. Nance is a determined runner and one that makes the most of every opportunity. He takes this opportunity to get it into the end zone. The Wildcats have the lead, 14-7. All right, thanks, Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Singleton from the two. Tackle made at the 32. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. That, that brings up, up second and 13. 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. to the back quickly off his hands incomplete Dixon, the intended receiver on the play. that'll bring up fourth and five Higgins is waiting for the snap he drops it they'll bring him down at the 32 yard line ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Brought down at about the 49. That's a game of 17. That makes it first and 10. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. That's a gain of six, six on the play. play. First, First down. down. From the 38-yard line. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. They'll drop in for a loss. Tailback's got it, and he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. Third down. That's the end of three quarters of play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. 24-14, TCU.
into the fourth quarter now. And we're back to the action. Here's the halfback on the screen. A lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline. The defense did their job, and they've got a lot of confidence that their offense can come back and take the lead. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. goes around the 26 yard line did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense when you know what you're doing and what should be happening it makes things a lot easier and this play is number eight on the drive he gets out to about the 17 yard line that's a deal of nine on the play that brings up second and one short yardage situation here it's second down and one He'll go ground. Nice run there. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Tenth play of the drive. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the six. Runs it right. Nice pickup. This is the 12th play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area who's trying to throw that one into. This one should be makeable. It's up, and they tack on three points. McGee is lined up to kick this one off. From the seven. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34 yard line. The Horned Frogs have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That's a loss of about five. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's level at the 27. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Just under two minutes in the game. 
catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Check So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's tackled at about the 31. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 31 yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Bradley gets three yards on the play. Iowa State will take their second time out of the half. And he has it on the corner. Runs right for a nice game. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score 27 14, Horn Frog. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.